George Fan had a tremendous season this year. He's been one of the best left tackles in the NFL all season. George, how do you think you personally are going to look back at the 2021 season? Uh, yeah, for me personally, um, you know, as far as my play, I think this is, uh, you know, a year that I kind of got to put everything together. Um, had the opportunity to play a position, uh, left tackle, uh, where I feel most comfortable uh, for a whole season, um, minus a game. And, you know, just being able to, you know, kind of get comfortable to the position uh, really for the first time in my career to really show who I am as a player. What was it like there in week one after you get to start at right tackle and then you see Makai Becton go <laughs> down and then you have to make that transition to left tackle? Yeah, so actually like, you know, kind of like in the, in the training camp, like towards the end of the training camp, I think the Philly week, um, all the way leading up to week one, uh, I was already kind of getting left tackle reps here and there uh, because Makai had went down then. Um, so just, you know, me having to switch over to right and then uh, I seen him went down. Um, I was already kind of in the groove uh, left. So once I got back over there, uh, just took a took really like a you know a game to kind of get used to it again. And then from there, man, I just kind of took those took that game and just kind of started building blocks. How much pride do you take in taking care of the quarterback's blind side? It means a lot, and um, you know I take a lot of pride in it and making sure I keep them clean. Uh, you know, it's funny because sometimes he jokes and like I, I ask me how I feel and I'm like, I feel sore. And he's like, oh, I feel good. You know, I did my job. So talk about having a professional attitude, no matter what happens, because you started your career at Seattle. You bounced around a little bit. You signed here and then you thought probably entering the offseason that you were definitely headed to a starting spot again. And then the team uh actually signed Morgan Moses and you were competing with Morgan and you took it all in stride throughout. You know, that that's just something that kind of drove me to work even harder. Um, get ready for the off season, get ready for the season. Uh, during the off season, I kind of got hit with the COVID uh, right at the beginning of the training camp. So, um, you know, that time I just kind of like, I really got to sit back and reflect and really go over the playbook and make sure I had it down. So when I got back, um, I kind of hit it full stride and just, at the end of the day, it's about being a professional. Um, this is my job, you know, and at the end of the day, it's a game, but it's my job. And, and my job is to come in and play at the highest level I can, uh, no matter what. How much did it help that Morgan was a guy that you not only respected, you generally liked being around? Yeah, uh, I thought a lot. I mean, because you know, you know what, what he brings to a room. Um, and for myself, like I said before, we, we've been together. I've been knowing each other for a, for a while, for a while before he got here. Uh, so, you know, immediately I knew what he was going to bring to our room and I knew it was going to be a great competition. Uh, and I knew I would be, I would be get a better player for it. Um, just learning from him um, and seeing how he, do, how he does things. You've graded out as one of the best left tackles in the National Football League. If I would have told you that before week one, what would you have said? You know, coming here, I knew I could, I could be one of the top tackles in the league. Uh, and I believe I said it even on record, but, you know, it's just something that, you know, I, I know I had to put the work in for it. Uh, so I know I did put the work in for it. And it's just cool to kind of let everybody kind of see what I've been working at. Don't you think you can say that the best is yet to come for George Fan? Yeah, most definitely. I think um, there's, you know, I had a good year, um, but there's a whole lot of things I can fix. There's a whole lot of things I can get better at. And there's a whole lot of things I know I will do uh, in the off season to get better at. So, um, you know, I'm coming back, coming back next, off, next season um, and, fixing those things. And uh, my goal is, like I said, be one of the top tackles in the league for a long time. What excited you about this system heading into the season? Like I said earlier in the, in the off season, it's built for me. I think that, uh, you know, the way they the way they want the tackles to play, uh, get out on the edge, play with speed, the way they do everything here. I think it's really built for me and uh, for an athletic tackle. Once I kind of saw that in the off season during OTAs, I knew this system was for me and I knew I, I could thrive in the system. Elijah Vera Tucker was good in year one, but what kind of potential does this kid have? Oh man, his ceiling is ridiculous. I mean, he, he has so much skill. He's very athletic, strong. Uh, he understands ball. Uh, for him to be able to put a rookie rookie season like that, like, like he just did together, uh, you know, I'm excited to see um, you know where he does next year. What do you think about some of these young talents from the playmaker position on the offensive side of the ball? Uh, you know, I think they went and got got some young guys who who really uh, can play this game at a high level. Uh, I really love playing with all those guys. I'm really excited to see those guys play next year uh, and go out there and change change their games more and fix the things that they need to fix in the offseason and uh, come back and apply it. 
George, what do you think about the culture that was established here under Robert Sala in his first season? It's great culture here. Uh, I, I remember last year um, we kind of talked about it, and then um, I, I was saying that we need the culture. And uh, right away, from the first time I met Sala, I knew that uh, this this is the right guy. And I, I believe that we're really going to be build on this and be one of the top offenses in the NFL. You're going to be chopping at the bit in the offseason to get back, right? Mm-hmm. Because oh, most definitely. You, you guys have shown glimpses, and it, it – it has a feeling like this is just the start, right? Oh, most definitely. Uh, you got you got all these you got all these young guys on this roster. Um, those guys aren't do, going to do anything but get better. Um, you know, once you kind of like have that first year under your belt and um, continue to keep playing, your game just kind of gets better and things get you know not easier, but you got a better understanding of it. Uh, so that leap to one year one and year two for those young guys are going to be great. Uh, and not even just all, all those guys. You got some uh, good vets in the room. Um, in this building who, who really understand what it takes to win games. Um, so just kind of bringing those guys along, I believe you're going to be in a good spot. George, lastly, what's the next step for you? Because you took a monstrous leap, uh, whether it's as a run blocker or a pass blocker, what do you think's just the next step for you? I think it's full, full around, man. I, I got, I got things I want to fix definitely in the run game. Um, uh, and also in the passing game as well. Uh, I think just, you know, this football IQ still learning the game, Never really relaxed and don't ever really think like never really thinking that I know it all. Uh, just you know, taking the off season, watching the film again, um, and seeing what I really need to fix. Those are the things I'm really working on, man. And I'm just excited to get back up there and uh, I really show what I can do. George, we appreciate your time, man. Thanks for having me.